Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, do the invisible man effect. And um, I'm going to kind of run through it real quick because it's actually really easy. And obviously you need um, your green screen footage and don't worry about all this little rigged mess. Because that's the best we could do earlier or whatever. Then um, you need a background plate. And this is actually just a still photo or whatever that um, I clipped from the end of the video and I extended it to the length of the uh, green screen footage by um, right clicking on its name on the not li uh, timeline set speed and you can change this right here to whatever the your other footage is anyway that's what I did but you want your back plate underneath your uh, green screen footage and you obviously need to key it out I already did that and I didn't do like the greatest job of keying it out because that's not what we're doing we're doing something else so um, anyway Jesus sorry about that anyway <clears throat> select your uh, green screen footage Hit, click composite down here you'll get this dialog box click on displacement map and um, you'll have these settings over here you can crank them up to whatever you want it doesn't really matter as long as you like it and that'll be fine and if you don't like the way the uh, these edges look like it's a little bit too sharp and harsh looking for you you can uh, always go to grade, add a blur Gaussian, and it, that's what the effect will do. But you can take it down just to so it's not so bad. That looks okay. But um, I'm gonna turn that off right now, just so we can see what we're doing. And um, I'm gonna select this pencil tool. Skip a to here and I'm gonna draw a keyframe oh wait sorry one thing another thing I forgot to do while you're still on grade add a transparency filter and that's where you want your keyframe I don't know why it's there but it's there for some reason but that's fine Okay, that's cool. Because pretty much we, we want him to be um, visible through this duration. And we're, what we're going to do is make him disappear. So we'll just make it 10 frames forward. Then lower the transparency. And he's gone. And as you can see, he slowly disappears. And that's cool, but like maybe later on we want him to uh, reappear. So we need another keyframe so he stays uh, invisible from this keyframe to the one that we're fixing to add. So he stays invisible. So we go back to it. Skip 10 frames forward. Turn the transparency back up. And from then on in, or from from here on out he stays visible unless we want to add some more keyframes and make him disappear again but here's the gist of it or gist of it whatever alright so that should make sense to you and that's a simple way to do it but alright so now I'm going to turn everything back on the blur and the displacement map and we're gonna copy and paste this on top of the original so now you have two copies and on this thing we're gonna delete the blur Gaussian and the displacement map so our actor here comes back and it's my twin brother by the way but as you can see we have a uh, 
the displacement map layer which is beneath this layer is kind of showing through but we're going to fix that real quick really simply and really quickly and we're going to do that by going to our transparency and let me just turn this off real quick so we can see on the first frame turn the transparency all the way down okay, I'm going to skip over and make sure you select your little pointer tool thing and we're just going to switch these keyframes over and we're going to do the same thing over here So now as you can see, the displacement layer is not showing anymore until it actually needs to be shown. So there's going to be a smooth transition from in between, going on between the two layers. And um, that's pretty much the gist of it right there. And um, like this thing was shot on a tripod, obviously with a green screen didn't have to play with the lighting because they were shot back to back had shot the video of my brother on the green screen then took the whatchamacallit the green screen off the door and just took a couple of seconds worth of video and that's about it right there so hopefully this uh, makes sense to you I, mean, I know I kind of rushed it because I've actually done this like four times already and the file was way too big and uh it was either I, I was going to have to clip it into sections and make it like a three or four part tutorial because it was like kind of long like I really went in depth and I know this is kind of really quick and I apologize about that but I got burned out on doing this so many times but yeah hope that makes sense to you it's like pretty smooth And uh, obviously you could uh, separate these keyframes, like move them out further and whatnot. But uh, the one thing I can tell you that you really want to do is uh, on the displacement map layer, this is you, um, you really want to finish all your keyframes first, like where he disappears, where he reappears and whatnot. Like if there's a couple of instances where he has to do that for whatever reason, depending on your shot. You want to do all that first before you uh, copy the layer and paste it and put it on top of the first layer. So that's some food for thought. And hope you like it. And alright, see you guys and uh, thanks for watching.